Coach T from tipsforrunning.com. Today I'm going to talk about setting goals, more specifically setting SMART goals. It's one of my favorite ways to set goals. Um, one of the biggest problems with people on goal setting is they set goals uh, that are too big and they're too vague, they're not specific. Setting SMART goals will help you to stop doing that. This is a sheet and I'll link to it down below too. So hopefully you can click down below and just download this and just print this up. But these are SMART goals sheets. SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic, and a Timetable Goal. Basically what that means is you set a goal that's real specific like run four times in a week. That's specific. It's measurable because you can tell if you didn't or did run for four times. Attainable is very important. Don't set something crazy like run 10 times in a week if you know you'll never run twice in a day. Um, same thing with realistic, kind of the same as attainable. And then a timetable, you can't, you can't have a goal without saying like um, during the week or during the month. It's much better to have that timetable down like I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it by this date. So that's what the acronym SMART stands for. Now the reason there's four on this sheet is because I cut them out every week and then I put mine in my wallet. So here's my little wallet. Here's my SMART goal. I made it the size of a, a bill so you can put it in your wallet. Alright, you don't have to put it in your wallet by the way. You can put this goal sheet anywhere where you see it every day. Um, you can put it on your bathroom mirror, anywhere where you see it. One of the funniest things is my brother used to write his goals and put it above his bed and then every morning you wake up and see his goals but the funny part is he had to wear contacts he couldn't see his goals actually when he woke <laughs> up in the morning but the point is that he knew it was there he knew what he wanted to accomplish here we go these are my four goals on the four categories there's four categories fitness food financial family and friends now for fitness to be specific and uh, making sure I can attain it. I want to exercise four times for 30 minutes at least each time. I can do a, a bunch of different things. Like I count it when I play basketball as exercising. Uh, for food, no gas station food. Avoid that food. I like it, but it costs money <laughs> and it's not good for me. So no gas station food. Uh, financial, I do vacuum reviews for vacuumwizard.com. Every time I do one, I get some money, so I know I'm getting a vacuum this week. I'll do that. And send out my YouTube script. That's my movie script I want to sell. Finally, family and friends, I want to clean this room up for my wife in the basement. That would be nice. And read to the kids every night. So you see, this is very important to me. Every week I will check it to make sure I achieve my goals. And I'll put it back in my wallet. Once the week is over, I'll set new goals. My new sheet. Alright? So good luck with setting goals. Do this every week. You'll, you'll be glad that you did. It'll keep you way more focused than you would with a, a vague general goal of just getting better shape. Alright, happy trails. See ya. I got a goal for all you people. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, uh, click on the link down below to download and print your own free smart goal sheets. So subscribe above or in the middle. Print the sheets down below. Goodbye.